everyone and welcome back. Now it's day four of Vader, hopefully you're all enjoying it and you haven't got bored yet. Just a quick recap, for those of you that don't know, Vader is vlogging every day in April, so if you're interested in these videos, please make sure that you click the subscribe button. Now as you're watching, I shall be in Disneyland Paris right this second. Do you know, I literally cannot tell you just how excited I am about this trip. I'm going around to my best friend's house tomorrow night, sleeping there, leaving at 6 a.m. and then midday on Saturday, we will be in Disneyland Paris. Now we are going for the 25th anniversary. In fact, as this is a video for the 25th anniversary, I should probably put these on just so you're aware in case you didn't know, hashtag time to sparkle. So there is so many things opening and being new that I am so looking forward to seeing on this trip. So firstly, I'm just so excited to see the decorations. Um, I love the theming that they have done and I'm hoping that it's going to be even better in, in person because from what I've seen online it looks really really cool. Um, I really love all the little like tinks that they've put on top of the lampposts down Main Street. Um, I've tried not to look at too many things online but of course you know being on Instagram and Twitter those things kind of just appear and you don't need to see them and then you're like oh I've seen it now. Uh, so yeah, I'm just looking forward to seeing all the decorations and seeing the way that they've made the park all nice and shiny and sparkly and just really beautiful for the 25th anniversary. Another thing that I'm looking forward to is of course all the new shows that are coming. They've got a new princess show, they've got the new nighttime show and they've got the new parade. So I cannot wait to see all these things. I'm going to be honest with you, I listened to that 30 second clip of Stars on Parade that I um, was released a couple of months ago and I really hated it. I was just like, this is just noise. So I haven't listened to anything since then. So I'm really, really hoping that I like it more than I did online. Um, the reviews I've, I've heard of it, just like little tweets from people have been that it's really great. So fingers crossed, I'm gonna love it. I'm sure I will. And you know what? Like I'll just enjoy the magic and the spirit of Disney as that parade goes around, even if I'm not so keen on the soundtrack. I think for me, it's just that Magic on Parade was such an incredible parade. So we'll see, I'm, I'm saving that one for judgment. I've heard amazing things about the princess show outside the castle and, oh, I don't know, Dreams was a pretty special show. So we'll see, we'll see, but I'm excited all the same. Now another show, it's not new, but it's gonna be new for me, is Mickey and the Magician. Oh my word, I can't believe I've not seen this yet. I've never been in the park when it's been on, so I cannot wait to see it. I've heard incredible things. Um, and I'm, ju I'm just so excited to kind of see all the different shows. Again, it's one of those things I've avoided because I knew I'd see it one day. So I don't actually know what happens in it, um, but I cannot wait to vlog uh, going in and you'll see my reaction and you'll see, yeah, so I'm sure I'm gonna love it. I'm sure I'll cry, I'm sure I'll laugh. I'm sure it'll just be everything. I'll just be a mess, basically. Ride-wise, I'm slightly gutted that uh, Space Mountain is gonna be closed and Pirates of the Caribbean is going to be closed. Pirates is like my favourite ride in Disneyland Paris, so that being shut is a huge blow. But Peter Pan has been freshly painted, so I cannot wait to see that. It's a Small World has been redone, and I just can't wait. It's going to be amazing. Um, and then, of course, you know, it's me, so I'm looking forward to the food. <laughs> Always the food. I've said to my friends, we need to have a day where we just don't eat like proper meals so I can just snack because I love snacks. And I'm beginning to see they've got loads of star shaped food. Okay, Disneyland Paris, you need to sort this out. You've not got many Mickey shaped foods. So I appreciate that you're trying to get there and you're now bringing in star stuff. But can we please have some Mickey shaped food, please? Because I need it in my life. Um, but yeah, star shaped food. I've seen a star shaped pizza at Colonel Haiti's and I've seen some like star shaped beignets so like just like get in my belly all that food I'm gonna I'm gonna just love it all and then finally uh, pray for my bank account because the merch uh, it just yeah some of it I haven't been that keen on but again then there has also been stuff that I'm just like I'm gonna be so broke when I come back it's gonna take every ounce of my being not to buy the Disneyland Paris Lego castle and the way I'm persuading myself to not buy at the moment is my thought is, if I don't buy it, that's basically another trip to Disney. <laughs> so, yeah. But, mm. So, that is all the things that I'm looking forward to. Of course, that is just literally skimming the surface. I am looking forward to just spending time with my friends, enjoying the Disney magic that you get only at Disney, that kind of bubble of being there. I'm looking forward to seeing this new hotel that I've not seen before. We're staying off-site 
at the, I can never remember its name, but it's circus themed, it's Disney affiliated. I'm looking forward to just meandering and going to the studios and going around the shops and just eating loads of food and just, I so need this holiday. It's, it's, it's been a tough few weeks and I just need some Disney magic in my life. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below what you are most looking forward to on your next Disney trip, whether that's at Disneyland Paris or any Disney park around the world. I look forward to hearing from you and until tomorrow, see you next time.